changes from no regular braid out, okay? If you've been feeling like your hair is flat or dull or maybe it's just not behaving or holding moisture, Start, maybe go back to some of them old natural products you used to use or make. Hey subbies and friends, this is Lady T and I'm coming in because I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on with me and my hair. It's like, it's like I had an epiphany. I was like, you know what, I am so tired of trying to figure out this moisture thing. My hair is moisturized one minute and then I feel like in a few hours or the next day I'm dealing with hair that's brittle and aggravated and I'm running into knots daily. Um, although I have been loving wearing my hair out because it's just to me I love letting my curls loose I, I know the benefits I know and respect the benefits of protective styling But sometimes I just want my hair free. So there's all kind of stuff that I've been like Working on because one I want to get back to protective styling But I want to have me some accessories to help me have a very low maintenance easy to maintain protective styles that I can easily retwist or re-moisturize my hair within about four to five days um, or have it in a style like mini twist that will allow me to just leave my hair alone possibly for a week. But the whole point of this video is one day I just was like you know what I bought me some flax seeds and I, I don't know if I ever tried flaxseed gel but something made me want to just try it and make some flaxseed and just give it a try because I remember buying everything for it years ago like the stocking and the little tongs or whatever people use uh, to squeeze it out and I had all that in my cap and but I didn't have the flax seeds so a while ago I went and bought my flax seeds and I said you know I'm just gonna put these in the pan and go ahead and make this gel because I watched a couple videos I revisited people like natural 85 and some of the people who really first you know who, who got me on to this whole natural hair product thing so I was watching these videos and I said well it seems so much simpler than I remember and then I was just watching how other people did it and one of the things I really liked that I saw in one of the videos is that natural I think it was natural 85 she let the gels cool down before she actually made the solution but long story short I went ahead and made my flax seed it felt like a fail because I had a mess all over my stove. My pantyhose, which I still have here because someone told me you could actually save them and wash them. It was, it was an experience. But basically, I had the little pantyhose and I was squeezing the gel and don't you know, the little, it must have was a hole that formed and the seeds was coming out with the gel. And I started to freak out and almost felt like it was just a complete fail because I had all these seeds still mixed in with the gel. And then a light bulb went off. And I said, wait, you just do it again and just try not to, because I think when I was squeezing the gel, I was paying, I was not paying attention to if it was by the, the um, lace or the closure of the stocking. So when you're squeezing that flaxseed gel, you kind of want to make sure you get a part of the stocking that doesn't have any way of being open, like a crease. You want to avoid creases and just get it where it's no way that the seeds can seep, you know, out, sneak out. <sighs> So I redid it and it went better and I probably only had about five seeds in my gel and I said I'm not going to worry about five seeds. And then I noticed that someone also said you can save your seeds and redo them. So I'm going to redo the flax seed and I was getting information from my sister who's done it before and she said be careful because it can mold. So I immediately put mine in the fridge and after being completely grossed out by the texture of flax seed gel, I mean I was just gagging a little bit as I was looking at it and squeezing it because you know it looks like a mucus it looks disgusting right but as I put it in my hair I didn't think anything of it because I had made a mess and I just started picking up the gel that was on my stove and putting it in my hair I wasn't really using the gel for my hairstyle but I was literally rubbing what I dropped and putting it on my ends and I just was like let me just put it on my hair because I don't feel like wiping this all up I was so aggravated with all the seeds I was finding seeds on the floor and by my cabinets between the stove it was an experience but eventually I had me a little tub of flaxseed right here's my flaxseed made almost about a week ago as you can see you probably can't see but it's got little seeds in there okay not many and I accidentally froze it the first day <laughs> don't even ask why don't even ask why but that's a whole nother subject because I'm gonna make me another batch very soon and I'm gonna make it I got a strategy this time but this is what I made the first time and child I still haven't gotten used to how this looks 
okay? But let me tell you, a lot goes a long way. I didn't wash my hair. I just was literally picking it up off the stove. And, okay, I was just bopping it on. Now, this is not the hairstyle from that day. This was made off almost, almost a week ago. Now, after I put it in my hair, I think I, I remember cutting out knots and putting my hair in four braids. And I kept those four braids in for roughly a week. I mean, no, four days. And my hair was, you know, just locked down. I, I got my little simple protective style that I throw a headband on. I just kept my four braids in. So today, however, I took those four braids out. And I could not understand why my hair looked different. And I said to myself, what did I do different to my hair? Why does it look more defined? Why does it look different? Although I know I have four braids in it. I said, was it the shea butter? I said, I know I was cutting knots out and going through my ends and moisturizing, but my hair looks different. And then I, it occurred to me, I said, wait, you put a little bit of flaxseed on your hair before you put the four braids. I didn't remember because I wasn't grabbing it and rubbing it on each section. It was such a small amount because I literally just, whatever I found on my stove, I just rubbed it very randomly in my hair. And then later that day, I went and put four braids in. So four days after that, roughly, I go to take these braids out. And I'm like, man, my hair feels kind of strong. Even though at first I thought it felt kind of dry, then I'm noticing like, wait a minute now, I'm seeing a little bit of definition. Hold on, wait a minute, right? Okay, I hope you can see it. But can you see some of that definition? This ain't just from no regular braid out, okay? So, I was like, wow, this is off to a good start. I'm like loving how these little natural ingredients be working like superpowers, okay? Because I've done four braids in my hair, taken out the braids and had a nice looking twist out, but never have I seen definition where it just seemed like it just took it upon itself to give me some real curls. So later today, right after this video, I plan to go, it's gonna kill me. Cause you know how when you have a nice twist out, you really don't wanna wash your hair. You like, hold up, I could just uh, wait till a week, a day or two. And then I just wait a day or two, you know, get some love out this hairstyle. And then I'll wash it. But now nah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this mud wash cause I got time today. That was the point of me taking them braids out. Um, cause I'm gonna try to keep my hair in protective styling a little longer, trying to push my way up to once, to do for a whole week like maybe go every other week wearing um my hair in a protective style and then maybe one week i wear mostly protective style and then wear it out because i ain't gonna lie i like to have my hair out not just because it's cute because i want to learn my hair i don't want to just have my hair locked down and if something happened i don't know what to do with it i want to watch my hair know how when it's moisturized how to recover it and blah 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 but i thought i would check in because if you've been feeling like your hair is flat or dull, or maybe it's just not behaving or holding moisture, start, maybe go back to some of them old natural products you used to use. So I, eat, I got some other stuff I'm gonna share with you later that I've been buying and getting because I'm gonna, this year is really gonna transition away from a lot of those hair products. I'm not saying I'm not gonna bring back in my Cantu and all that, but I just wanna take a break because I'm tired of wrestling with my hair and my hair being unpredictable. So even just with that little bit of flax seed, I'm getting all up in y'all face because I, I, don't, I don't know if you can really see what I'm saying, but anybody whoever has used flax seed, they see, it's like, it's subtle, but you just see a difference in your hair. It's like your hair is happy. And it's not even just that your hair is happy. It's like that flax seed just grabs a hold of your hair and gets it together. And that's where I'm trying to get to. You know, I'm tired of playing around with this hair. This ain't the kind of texture you can play around with, okay? Because you're going to get knots. You're going to have dry hair. It's going to be doing all kind of tricks on you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and put this flax seed back in the fridge, but I'm about to go wash my hair with some mud, and I'll be checking back in with you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.